Hey everybody, Adrian Hines here, pastor of Kingdom Connections Embassy, and today is May the 1st, May the 1st, 2013, and I want to come to you with today's inspirational video, or I should say inspirational message, and I want to talk to those individuals that are having a difficult time in life right now, or I should say a challenging time in life right now, where it seems like that things are not working out for your good, where it seems like that no matter what happens, it it, it it's not working out. You you get frustrated. Uh, you you are um, fearful at times. You're wondering how things are going to work. Uh, you're afraid or whatever the case may be. And I want to talk to you right now uh, because I have some great news for you. I was reading. I have a um, uh, on my app on my iPad. I have uh, an audio book. Well, not an audio book. It's a book by uh, what's the pastor's name? Joel Olstein. And it's called Commanding Your Day or something like that. I, I, I can't believe I'm having a brain fart right now. But anyway, in one of, on one of the days, it talks about people that are going through those type of challenges. And you can't figure out why things are not working out. And here's the reason. You have to imagine that um, what you're going through right now, you're just looking at it from a situation to where that's all you can see right now. Okay, It's like putting a puzzle together. All you have, excuse me is that one piece of the puzzle and that's all you see and with that one piece of the puzzle you're saying Adrian is it's not working what I mean my life is a mess my life is a wreck how, how can I fix it but all you have is that one piece of the puzzle and then something else happens to you it adds another piece to the puzzle whether it be good or bad and so what you have to learn how to realize is that everything that works out for you that's bad or I should say everything that seems appears to be bad in your life is not the end of the tunnel is not the end of the story is not the end of the puzzle coming together you need the good and the bad mesh together in order to complete the puzzle now here's a promise that we do have from the Word of God the Word of God says in Romans 8 28 um, that all things all things all things good and the bad all things Work together for the good of them that love God and are called according to his purpose. So if you want to make sure that all things work together for you, whether good or bad, then you need to make sure that you're called according to God's purpose. OK, we have another promise that um, uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from them all. OK, we have another promise that we are more than conquerors. Through faith in Jesus Christ. We have another promise. Okay, We have so many promises from the word of God. That no matter what crap we're going through right now. All things work together for our good. All things. All means all. And so it's like again. I'm going to use the analogy of putting a puzzle together. Generally when you're going through a, a, a challenging time. All you see is that one piece and what you cannot afford to make the mistake of doing is thinking that one piece depicts the whole puzzle it, it doesn't I'm trying to let you know I'm, I, I, I hope you understand exactly what I'm saying okay and so I pray I pray I pray that you stop looking at things that happen to you whether especially the bad stuff as just the end it's only temporary it's only it, it too shall pass just like the seasons change throughout the year tr trouble don't last always and I'm trying to show you right now how you can go through challenging times and still have joy because you know Jesus said you know we're going to go through various trials and, and, and tribulations he didn't say that life is going to be peachy but I want to show you how to live as a kingdom citizen that has victory every single day I don't care what happens to you well i'm not saying i don't care but i'm letting you know it doesn't matter what happens to you you too can have joy the bible says in i think the book of james james 1 7 or 8 counted all joy or, or, or verses 4 counted all joy when you go through various trials and tribulations knowing 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 in your psyche in your subconscious mind that the trying of your faith worketh patience and then the bible says let patience have its perfect work so that you and i can be complete and mature not lacking anything not lacking anything so prayerfully this has been able to bless you i'm excited sharing the word of god with you and uh seeing you get results please 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 leave a comment 
on this video like it and share it if it's been able to um, bless you and um, also also if you're ever in the Atlanta area or if you're in the Atlanta area and you don't have a church home we invite you to come check us out our address is 3390 Venture Parkway Duluth Georgia 30096 we meet at the extended stay hotel that's right next to the um, the miniature golf course I forget what it's called Pirates Cove or something like that right next to the miniature golf course behind the uh, Gwinnett Place Mall service starts at 11 a.m. we do not have a dress code so come as you are and I pray again that we are able to see you in person God bless